What's up witches? Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a different style of video and just kind of get ready with you, chat, show you stuff that I got. I have quite the amount of things that I've reached recently purchased and um, I know there's a little bit of a shopping problem. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to, we're going to make light. We're going to celebrate the abundance because your girl has not always been abundant. Matter of fact, your girl lived in some really, really crazy places. Um, like, I was counting the other day and I've lived in over 30 places. I was totally a nomad growing up. I still am, this is like my first time <laughs> having like a super, super solid home um, where I just feel so welcome and stuff like that. And it's a tent. <laughs> it's literally a yurt. Woo! Okay, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope that you enjoy this style of video. We're just gonna be getting real femme and fun and fresh and flirty and not 30, because I'm 24. But we're gonna do our makeup. I'm gonna show you some stuff that I bought and we're gonna chat about life. I wanna do like a really cute pink e-girl vibe euphoria you know you know they're all the rage now like with trends we're gonna see how well i actually execute that but first i'm gonna go in with this milani squin squin skin quench thing um let's see let me just grab a little brushy brush um okay but you know what i just realized is that i should probably just quickly wipe my face off just since I mean, I'm clean, I just took a shower, but it just feels right, you know, to wipe my face off. So I have these Honest Beauty Wipes, and I'm not usually a fan, honestly, of like makeup removing wipes. I just use like organic baby wipes if I really need to. I know, what a conundrum, right? So much hippie drama in my makeup wipe routine. Wow, these smell really good. Oh, yes. Okay, so, um, like I was saying, I want to do this makeup look. I'm going to go for some, like, subtle pinks. I've been really vibing on that. Um, I don't know, maybe in, like, the crease. And then maybe also I'll pull some, um, cards for us because I did get quite a few brand new decks. So, I was thinking that it could be fun to, um, Pull like a little card together and actually I've already pulled it <laughs> um, and I was like oh I'll read it on camera because I kind of have this feeling that if you're really sitting here with me if you're really one of those homies witches that I have on here as an online friend or personal friend anyway if you're really watching this video I just know that this cards for you too that's all I'm trying to say oh yes okay I wonder how much primers really do if you have a favorite primer, let me know. My skin is so dry. But, okay, so I got this new crystal. Wow, right? I think it's just some really high grade amethyst, very translucent. Here, let me, my first beauty guru shot of the day is a crystal, good, good. So, I have that vibe going on over there. Crystals can be so expensive. I always think how funny it is that I'm literally buying a rock. <laughs> but the rock is so special the rock is so special speaking of really expensive rocks I spent $70 on this purple's phosphorite but I'm not gonna lie one of the most potent obvious things like I can feel it every time I have a whole purple vibe going on over here this is my favorite kombucha the bloom mm, 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 mm. okay back to biz so I have the primer on, I'll put on a little bit of foundation and then we'll pull the little card. Or I'm gonna read you some of the card that I already pulled. I've been buying these different foundations and I swear none of them hit the way the matte poreless Maybelline, the Fit Me one does. Like seriously, I bought two different like high-end ones and they both are just, no, you know. Okay, now I'm taking this other, all my brushes are real techniques. I'm taking this other brush, it's the 200, I don't know. I doubt anyone is here to buy makeup 
or to take my advice on makeup. <laughs> so I won't stress out too much on that. But anyway, I took a long break from makeup. I used to not ever wear makeup. Like I went through this huge like spiritual question mark phase. Well, I thought that that was like spiritual. I needed a big cleanse and I kind of did need a big cleanse. Like I needed to just take a break from everything I'm guessing because spiritually I was cleansing. Um, not saying that not wearing makeup is a spiritual cleanse. Not saying that at all. Um, I think that was just a part of mine. And back then I did a lot of kundalini. I used to post. I took down all those vlogs. I privated all of them. And I just never wore makeup and I don't know. It was kind of like I went all vegan. I think a lot of people do that. I think that's like an awakening of sorts. Though I kind of resent that thought of that being an awakening. I think that's kind of like this. I don't know. Very. It, you know what it is? Is most people that talk that way, I feel like they're just very privileged people. And it's all overwhelming for me. So I try to just actually be more about humanity now. Like I'm just more like, okay, you know, we all got to do what works for us and try not to judge each other. And the, the less amount of boxes there are and identities and roles and rules and restrictions, the better. Like I like it more when it's just like, I'm just doing me. I'm allowed to be my own independent free thinking self. I'll be open to education, mindfulness. I want to make a difference for minority groups. I want to make a difference in this world in terms of voices being heard and money being distributed, my money going into places I believe are correct. But then again, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up over like, like I bought a skirt at Forever 21, you know? Like, there's so many forms of activism, and I want to be a part of them all, but there is, like, such a level of burnout that can happen when you're so hard on yourself. And that's all I'm going to say about that topic. No more activist talk. This is going to be a fun, girly time for Cheyenne. Okay. I think that that's, like, good enough. I don't know. I could hyperfixate on foundation all freaking day. But maybe I'll just put on a little bit of concealer very quickly oh there it is I'm going in with the nars um i don't even know cafe con leche oh cafe con leche that's my favorite <laughs> actually i've been super obsessed with nespresso again i'm back on my nespresso vibe i oh god i'm i I'm starting to think maybe I'm the toxic one. <laughs> like, I go through such phases with caffeine. I go through such phases with every drug, let's just say that. But luckily, your girl, your girl almost has a whole year sober again. Um, matter of fact, that was one of my first videos I ever posted on YouTube was all about getting clean and sober. And there was cheesy guitar in the background of the thing I just totally put my nail into eyeshadow and uh that's cool but you know I always get embarrassed in private things so that's that hopefully though I don't do that again like that's kind of a goal of mine is no more privating um things I just want to work on a foundation on my blog and youtube channel and instagram and website even and just get this foundation solidified so that I can continue to make content and build upon it rather than rebranding or redoing myself or being hard on my design or being hard on how I'm outputting things and then restarting like no more of that just just gonna be open and honest and transparent with my whole process that's like my goal but I'm also a Pisces and you never really know with me and so I try not to get attached to anything but I am working towards that and it's going well so far. Okay, concealer's on, the face is beat, <laughs> and I'll go ahead and set, set my powder, set, set my makeup with powder because 
Then I feel like I'm at a good stopping point for pulling a card and showing you some stuff. I'm going in with Morphe. Morphe. And this big powder brush. So, beep, 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 beep. I feel like also, I was kind of bummed the other day. Like I'm realizing that I'm not the youngest generation anymore. And that's not why I'm sad. I don't mind. I'm not fearful of age. I appreciate the youth that exists within me. I appreciate my youth, but I am not a crone hater. Like, I love the crone archetype, and I feel like really studying, like, all these, like, holy trinity female mother made in crone concepts and archetypes, and being in, like, the this world of witchcraft for me is so intersectional with feminism and a gift that's come out of that has been not really <sighs> like ident again it comes back to this identification not really identifying too hard with like one thing whether it's beauty or money or any of that like it's just about staying lovingly detached and witnessing and being grateful for the beauty and the relationship and the interactions along the way and the manifestations and the creativity though i am 24 which means i'm like i'm gonna be a childbearing age i already am i guess but one day i'm gonna bear children there's a lot ahead of me it's going great my camera died at the perfect time but we're back okay so the very first thing i wanted to show you were my new cards because i bought some really dope one so this is the tattoo tarot this one's obviously a pretty popular deck um since i showed you guys all of my decks i wanted to kind of keep up on this fun little share session so that's the backs of them and then the fronts are all these really dope tattoo designs yes ten of swords i've always said that's my favorite card in the deck but like yes so anyway they're all like super awesome um, I've always said the Ten of Swords was my favorite card in the deck, but it scares me. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it is, like, always to do with betrayal and, like, ugh, ugh. But don't look back, people. That's what I say. Let's see what else we get. Judgment. Wow. What is the universe trying to say to me other than, girl, you're going through an awakening. I know. So I got that one. I also got the Wikipedia spell deck. This one's really fun. And also, yes, love this creative packaging no guidebook you just pull a spell card this is a feel energized one yeah it's not focusing so i'm not gonna trip too hard on that but anyway there's all sorts of them there's like feel energized healthy eating notice me there's love spells protection spells etc so you can like pull one and ask what you need to do or it's just a fun spell reference card deck then I got the Untamed Elemental deck. This one is so cool. It's by Tasia Van Rie. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It comes with this beautiful box, booklet, um, and another little box, and then the cards. And the cards are so magnificent, and I'm just in love with the art. Like, oh, God, yes. So what I think I'm going to do is actually this is the plan it's not what i think i'm gonna do it's what i'm doing i'm going to do this video get ready and then sit down and film my pick a card reading pick a deck pick a pile reading for youtube which i really like to do and i want to start doing all the time like i would really just appreciate it if i could find the structure to film those and be putting them out like two to three times a week i know that sounds crazy two times a week to start two times a week that's a good goal um i just love them you go and you get to choose a deck and they're always so spot on even though they're collective readings okay then i got this new oh my god yawning you know it matters when you yawn <laughs> um this queer tarot possibly my most favorite it's hard to say that because I'm so attached to my OG tarot deck. This is, besides my OG tarot deck, this is my favorite deck. This 
is insane. And I'm not saying anything about the per I feel like sad saying that because I know some of my other tarot. My, my etheric tarot deck is awesome. Like the personality, ride or die, you know? But this one, the design is by far my favorite I've ever seen in my whole life. Even the booklet's cool. Like, hello? What? No, and that's not all. That's not all, people. Also, the cards are the most insane. Please sponsor me, Queer Tarot. Just sponsor my spirituality. I don't even know what I want from you. I just want you. <laughs> like, ah! And then, bah! oh my god, they're falling. What, 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 what? All different types of people doing all different types of things. I'm so in love. So you know, you already know that the pick a pile, these are going to be the ones that I read with because they're just so cool. They're so Lisa Frank. So if you want to see more of these cards, make sure that you watch my pick a card thing. I think this video is actually going to go out after my pick a card. So I'll link it in the description. So if you want to go do it, you just pick your pile. they will be three or four piles with crystals on top of them. You're like, one, two, three, or four. Which one does my intuition call to me? Oh, two, maybe three. Oh, maybe both. And then you jump ahead. There'll be a timestamp. You click on it. Wow. Right? Wow. Um, and then I wanted to read this one to you guys because <sighs> I've been really loving and working with Isis like pretty much all my life, honestly. But I pulled the flower of life and the key of life, but I'm feeling called to read you guys the flower of life. So here's the flower of life. It's from the Isis Oracle deck. You are entering a fertile period of your life. Focus on your innate creativity and how potent this is becoming and watch it rapidly grow. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Don't resist change. Instead, flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. So this oracle suggests that the time is right for you to choose to align yourself with love each morning so that your thoughts serve you well. Manifestations are set in motion. This will re require time, habit, and consistency to change patterns. The flower of life holds secrets to allowing creative change and transformation, manifestation, and healing in the easiest and most enjoyable ways possible. The flower of life contains repetitive patterns, each interlacing and interrelating to the other, like the holograph that contains the whole within each part. So the oracle of the flower of life also brings guidance that you, are, that you are in the midst of a changing pattern, and although it might be uncomfortable at first, it holds the seeds of what you desire, and to allow it to happen is wise and loving to the self. Be brave, beloved initiate. The flower of life is nurturing you into a more whole expression of your divine self. Yes, there will be moments of questioning or doubt, but they are such a small part of the beauty unfolding for you now. Enjoy. So I just read a few of the lines for you. Do we just need to go to the key of life? Why do I kind of... Oh my god, I opened right to it. Okay. The key of life. Spinning the ankh. The key of life is the mysterious ankh, the looped cross held in the hand of Isis. This mystery is opening to you now. The ankh pretends... Pretends portends new portends new life being born through you now it could be in a creative sense or in a physical so sense oh my god i cannot read i'm sorry in terms of health or even child that wishes to be born omg or a new project that needs to be created in service to humanity this new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life bringing you into wholeness and fulfillment let it happen Wow, the Ang says that life will prevail and your creation will come to pass. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction and you have spiritual support from unseen worlds. I'm so feeling this through myself. Wow. Love it. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to share that divine moment with all of you. I don't know. I know what they're talking about for me personally. I'm sure you know what they're talking about for you. This is my friend Ava. She hasn't come to get her really pretty... Apache pyrite, but I'm taking care of it really quickly while we're here. I wanted to maybe just show you So I got this really dope crochet skirt. Oh, yeah She's gonna inspire me to make some content. I got razors wah, wah, wah. And then I also got this really beautiful spirit quartz. No, it was something it was something else But I don't know cool And then I got two new 
lip glasses, lip and well, lip gloss and lipstick while I was at Target. Oh my gosh, yes, it's like this golden shimmery pink, and then this one's just like a baby pink. So I might use those today. Um, I'll leave the rest for later. I got some stuff from Lush, you know, my fave. And then I also got um, some more spiritual herbs. Actually, I don't need to show you any of the spiritual herbs. Those can be for me. Um, I'm going in with a little bit of hula. I really want to like try some more. Why am I looking at the camera? I really want to try some more um, types of bronzer because I would like to find like the perfect match. I don't think hula is my perfect match at all. We're going in very light today with bronzer anyway because I just, I know that that's what's best. Following my intuition here. This is an intuitively guided makeup tutorial. <laughs> um, it's crazy how time just keeps passing and we're all alright. We're all alright. Me and all my personalities. Is that what you're talking about? I thought I was talking about the whole of the world. But I realize that I can't speak on that. No bypassing yet. Okay, she's carved. Carved enough. I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm some, some, I don't know. You know, we can all be better in life. That's all I'm trying to say. Especially me when it comes to carving out my face right now. But I know what I'm capable of and I don't need to prove that right now. <laughs> my God. I just know I'm gonna be watching this later and be like, laughing at myself also my camera was just at 11 11 because i had to stop and restart it that was cool okay a little bit of blush a little bit of blush we're going in with orgasm by nars one of my faves and i guess when i say a little bit of blush i mean kind of a lot honestly because i put a lot on my brush i didn't even try to take any of it off but i did say e-girl i did say we're going for an e-girl vibe oh yes love it on the nose a little bit cute very cute Oh, I love that golden highlight. I always forget how nice that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like seriously, hello, every beauty guru from 2012 has already shown you this, but wow. Okay, nice, nice. Going in with the naked Reloaded palette with retro this pink color Maybe a little bit of boundaries. I don't know And we're just going to take my little Sigma brush. It's the E40. It's like one of my faves also one of my fave wrappers shout out. What? Oh, I haven't taken the, the Mirror thing off yet, but I'm not going to because it seems right not to right now. Okay, I just pop that in the corner. I want to so badly use this orange, but where, Cheyenne? Where would you put it? Like right here? Would you put it right there? Sounds so fun. How could I use it? Can I use it? No, you don't need to use it right now. Maybe I'll just I'll just satisfy my tiny craving by putting a little bit over here cute literally can't see it almost at all but actually wait now that I compare it to my other eye you can cool love the sunset vibe for me okay and then I need to put something in my like lower eye area something not too wild I don't know what it is about makeup that's so relaxing but it really is I think it's because it's like it's such a sensory experience huh oh my god that wing girl what were you thinking Cheyenne how subtle don't lie to me Cheyenne you are not being subtle with that at all I don't know <laughs> Woo. okay hold on it definitely does not go with this eye. Okay, Cheyenne, Cheyenne needs to stop playing games now. I know that there were so many girls watching that part relating to me. That's one thing that I'm 
feeling okay about it like I'm like that's not gonna get deleted because I know how many of us have put on a new color lipstick thinking yeah we'll try this and the same same reaction that I had so did they they had it too okay straight up the eyes need to do the talking not the lips that's that's the final verdict so we're going to do this ready any difference any difference at all cool yeah that looks not bad that's YouTube that's YouTube appropriate I can do that for YouTube also how cool is this thing I mean I got this like crazy computer thing what side out side out side out side out side out oh my god I can't believe I'm gonna put this on the internet it's fine I don't care and to close our little chat with me vibe out I'm gonna show you what I got at Lush because I got this Angels on Bare Skin. I have to open it and smell it. Oh my, every time. It's oats and lavender and it's like a, a scrub. Um, so that. I got this Jasmine and Henna. It's really pretty looking. Um, Pre-hair soak. You put it on right before you shampoo your hair and it pre-wash treatment that adds serious hydration and strength to leave hair soft and shiny and then I got I love doing this on the camera because sometimes you can see like all the sparkles like floating in the air afterwards but I got the goddess bath bomb I've shown this before on my channel I love it love it love it ah! wow it smells so good and then they gave me a free sample of something I don't know what oh it's a solid shampoo I'm not gonna open that right now and then also, um, I got the rose gold sparkly bath balm as well. Oh, yeah. Wow. Great. So anyway, time to get ready. Film my pick a card. If you want to watch my pick a card video that I'm about to post, please go to the link in my description. It'll be there. Leave a comment on this video letting me know what you thought. Tell me your sign. You know, just talk to me. Like, subscribe, tell your friends um, because I'm going to keep doing this. So until next time, I'll see you. Bye.